truth is, I am Iron Man. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. Well, with this week's release of Historic Anthology 4, we got a sweet new card for an archetype that I had fun playing a while back. Of course, that version was blue-white, but it's like a it's extremely watered down and not even like really powerful. It's like it's super distant cousin of Affinity, but it's Boros Steel. Here it is. It's playing a bunch of cheap artifacts like, you know, Ornithopters, uh... Uh, Hope of Girapur and you know Bowmat Courier and then it's trying to curve into Steel Overseer We don't have anything like cranial plating so we are making up for that with things like all that glitters uh, And like tempered steel to pump all of our little cheap uh, our, our little cheap artifact creatures However, we did get a new card from Historic Anthology in Blink Moth Nexus This card it, it makes it, it becomes a 1-1 flying artifact creature And of course you can pay one tap it to target Blink Moth gets plus one plus one until end of turn So you can pump Another Blink Moth with this card, and now all we need is just Ink Moth Nexus, and then we're good. But, you know, in fact, on Arena, that's a whole nother video. So, uh, yeah, all around, this is just a super cheap, low-to-the-ground deck. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, if it goes past turn four, it's probably not looking great. So, let's see how we do on the ladder. If you're looking to relive all of the sweet cards from Time Spiral Block, don't worry, because Card Kingdom has Time Spiral remastered up for pre-order now at CardKingdom.com. Um, I'll keep. This seems good. Alright, so that's a Ley Line. So everything they make now has like a silly amount of... Mana producing abilities. Okay, um, get in for zero, and then pass. The goose has arrived. Do they have another mana dork? They're on mono green super friends. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make this a 2-2, two -two and then put a, all that glitters on it. So they're about to have a Planeswalker, right? Maybe I'll just make this a 4-4. Four, four. This way I get to block this Nissa token. Uh, this Nissa land that's going to attack me. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can double all that glitter something. Yep, there's the Nissa. No surprises. There's the Elf, sure. So now they have four mana at their disposal. Um, Let me think here. So that has Trample, so Nissa's gonna die this turn. I need to put them down some amount of health here. The land will not forsake you. And then I believe we have Tempered Steel this upcoming turn, and that should win the game, barring that they don't have, I don't know, something wild like that. Okay, like, like that, just exactly like that one. All right. So that feels absolutely terrible, but not the end. Not the end. So 
So they have no more planeswalkers, and I can go ahead and just put them down to Death 10 here. Can they kill me this upcoming turn, though? I don't think so. I'm still at a full 20. Ugin does suck, actually, for us. And they get two bodies out of this. That's actually really upsetting. God, Ugin? Come on. That's so good. I just gotta get this final bit of 10 on him. Yeah, I'm just going to attack because I have to. I got to keep the board clear here. Oh, that's such a nuisance. They had the perfect curve there. They had Nissa Ugin into Ugin. I don't know if there's anything else I could have done. They had another Nyssa. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Okay, GG's. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan. That hand does nothing. That hand does nothing. Alright, this hand's better, but only slightly. Ugh. I mean, this is the best mold of five I'm gonna have, so... Oh, that, that's, that's not great for us, but that's not the end, either. And we're gonna go ahead and equip the, uh, the Ornithopter with the, all that glitters. Because there's a chance that we might need to sacrifice the Hope of Giraffer. Wow. Uh, that's really rough for us. Oh, boy. How do we win here? So they get a 1-1 one, one counter when they play an angel, right? So that means this upcoming turn, they it becomes a 2-4. I can attack, maybe get them into blocking. Then I animate my Blink Moth. Yup. Uh, okay, so I'll animate this. So they're down to 14 here. And I don't block anything. I just keep attacking through everything. Like, luckily, Ginger Brute has its claws where it doesn't get to be blocked, pretty much. So that's kind of good for us. Um, Authority of Consoles has gained them four life, so they would be at 10 right now. They shocked, so here comes some big sad for us. Ooh. Soul Warden, Resplendent Angel. Yeah, these are these are really bad for us. Wow. Huh, not bad. Okay, so I'll just get in for seven. 
or try to. I don't know. Maybe now they've got like what Skyclave app or uh, the Skyclave appetizer that they're looking for. Two more angels. That's getting pretty out of control here. They're back up to 24. Um, that's unbelievable. Holy cow. They have really skyrocketed back up here. Then they make two more angels. They gain eight more life. Holy heck. Uh, Luris, so what matchup is this? I don't know. Whatever it is, I think having a baffling end is good. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with a white source. Alright, so it looks like it's probably some kind of Death Shadow deck. I'm willing to bet it on it because, I mean, everyone right now is playing some form of Death Shadow. Yup. Rakdos, that's a bad one to see. Alright, get in for more damage. Can I even get around another... Oh boy, this is not going to feel good, is it? Nope. Alright. I'm not attacking because they want to block with the Stitcher Supplier. Um, can I get around all my opponent's shenanigans? Um, let me think, let me think here. What are my outs? There's young Pyro, okay. Darn it. And they drew the Thought Seize. That's really good. At least it's not removal, but whatever. They have to trade if they attack. Uh, can I do anything this turn? I mean, I can force them into trading. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. I mean, from here on out, though, if I actually get to keep my, uh, my Steel Overseer, I, I feel pretty good about it, but... I mean, they do need a draw, right? So, if they want to cast anything off of this village rights, they have to attack. Claim the Firstborn, of course. I guess they don't mind trading now. Because they could just put Luris into hand. Next turn, they have it all over again. How do I survive? Sure. Village rights, sacrificing my stuff here. Feels kind of bad, but I don't have anything else I can do anyways.
I mean, at this point, I'm so desperate to just, like, get through. I might just all that glitters here. Or if I draw a land... I mean, they probably have Death Shadow, right? Claim. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, boy. So they have more than enough things to sacrifice. I just need to... If I draw, like, a, uh, another Ginger Brute, I could win. Right? Because then all I have to do is just swing, or play it, swing, and I'll be all set. Oh, come on. Again? Ugh, it's so annoying. All right, it's over. Now it's over. Sure. They take my all that glitters. They take my all that glitters. There's no discussion here. Wow, just really good draws from the uh, from the opponent there having exactly the ability to claim multiple of my stuff. Uh, no, this isn't great, but, uh, I, I'm still gonna keep it because we have the Steel Overseer. If we, if we actually get to keep our Steel Overseer, we're doing alright for ourselves. Okay. What deck are they? This will allow us to actually go ahead and keep our Steel Overseer if we get a connect with the Hope. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna go to combat. Until your next turn target player who was dealt combat damage at this turn. Okay. So let's see if this will work. It's definitely some kind of Rakdos deck, so go on. Skyclave, sure. You got it. All right, go ahead. So now how do we kill them next turn? We don't have anything that just stone cold dunks them yet, right? They swing for six, they get double strike. Sure, no blocks. All right. Huh. I can go ahead and make this unblockable, right? Make it grow, then we attack in the air.
Okay, pass. We don't get stomped anymore. Can they kill us this turn, though? Do they have anything that gives that card trample? Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that's so good. GG's. Good game. I'll keep this. Can we get one win today? That's what we need. We just need to get one win. Pile them on. Alright, so Thalia, not bad. We're going to play that on two. Doesn't matter, we can't play any... Like, most of our removal, if we... If it costs three mana, it's whatever. Alright. Oh, no. Yeah, that's rough. Um, okay. All right, let's start drawing cards, I guess. Get them on 15. If they fire off some spells here, it's going to cost them more mana. Otherwise, we just baffling end their uh, their steamkin. Oh, these spike field hazards perfectly killing everything of mine. Alright, let's get in there for some damage. Okay. Whew! Now they have to spend two burn spells on this Bomat Courier. Which would be ideal for them. They have a shock, they just gotta spend one more. Unfortunately, I'm tapped out. Oh. So for my face, they go. They must have something. They definitely have something. There's no way. Okay. I mean, even red cap melee here doesn't feel bad for them. Oh, I had lethal. I could have animated this one more time. I had lethal. Uh, oops. Oops. Had lethal. I wanted to keep up my card draw. Had lethal. It's okay. I don't see how they win from here. It's not lethal. It's, it's, I didn't miss lethal actually. That's just called, uh, content. I am intentionally trying to draw out the game so more plays can happen. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Uh-huh. I'm surprised this deck doesn't play Burgie. They might they might actually have Burgie. Alright! And we got there. Yeah, this hand's not gonna work for me. I mean uh, if I draw. Okay, this is better. This is better. It's a lot better. The hand's extremely dependent on me keeping my threats, but whatever. <laughs> what am I keeping here? I think all that glitters is a bit loosey-goosey, right? Like, we are asking for a lot there, so let's just play this. There's a strong chance they have a removal spell, and if so, then that feels real bad. 
At least tempered steel I can play freely. All right, nothing from the opponent yet. They're in mono green? Oh, explore. Oh, no. What's happening this turn? Another green land? Okay. I probably should have actually just uh, swung in for six there. But this feels pretty good, right? I mean, Mind Stone, okay, whatever. Palladium Mirror, whatever. Actually, let's see if this works. Because they die next turn. If the opponent does not block, they die next turn. Like, yeah, sure, I don't get to draw any cards this turn and I'm tapped out. But the good news here is that my Blink Moth will swing for three next turn. They don't have Ugin mana. Well, they have six mana Ugin, but like six mana Ugin doesn't save them from what's on board. And neither does eight, but eight at least removes Tempered Steel and the Baffling End, giving them a body. All right, and we take the match. I'm on the play. Yeah, I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is such a loose hand. I love it. This is such a loose hand. I'm here for it. All right, let's go. Come on. Let me draw land naturally. Just let me naturally draw a land here. Come on. Come on. I'm such a god gamer. Uh, okay, I'll trade. I'll gladly trade. I don't mind. I have a Steel Overseer. All right. So it's mono blue. Good thing we have a pretty early start here for us then. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to combat here. They'll take three. I mean, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Let's see, maybe they bounce something, my Steel Overseer. Briny, you got it. Okay, so we're just gonna keep playing threats here. If they show me Curious Obsession or something like that, I will throw this Ornithopter directly in front of it. Curious Obsession. You cannot draw more cards. Let's see what this looks like. Can I play this?
Lookout's dispersal, sure. I mean, we know they have counter magic. There, there's no surprises there. Sure. I think I am just going to let them connect for four now. Can they pump this card anymore? Like, who wins this race? They draw a ton of cards. Who cares if they draw a ton of cards, right? Yeah, that's fine. Sure, you got it. Like, everything we need is on the board. If they're playing counter magic, then that doesn't matter, right? Let's see how they block. No. Okay. So they hit me for four here. Like, every time I cast a spell, it grows their Brineborn, right? So as long as I don't cast anything, they just... It doesn't really matter, right? I mean, they have to throw blockers here. That's a given. All right, I take four. They'll draw some cards. Sure. Let's try one of these. Let's see if they counter this baffling end. Because they will have to. All right, so now they have to send all their blocks in, right? So, like, if I if I let them... They, they can't let two of these get through. If two of these get through, they're in trouble. Let me think here. I could force the block. They have to block at least one here. I send in all, they have to block both. Or they die. They can't just block one. They have to block both. All right. So now, let's see how this goes. Next turn, they're, they are dead to this ginger brute. So I'm down to three. Not only do they have to beat all my massive creatures right now, they've got to beat the two Blink Moth Nexus, Nexi, if you will. I think this game's over. 
Unless they have like mono blue burn hidden somewhere. All right, and good game. Well, it looks like we got bodied <laughs> pretty hard there at the beginning. Uh, dropped some rank, which is the opposite of climbing the ladder. And maybe it's because we just don't have that powerful of a game plan. Without cards like Cranial Plating, Galvanic Blast, you know, a little more of the Metalcraft synergies, I don't think we have enough to close out the game. I've tried cards like Collateral Damage, Heartless Fire or whatever, and just all those things. And right now with the way the format's shaken up to be, it seems like you have a struggle. Like every matchup is a struggle. But once again, if you get the correct starts, the fast enough starts, you know, it's not like you, you don't even play a game. So um, you just slay your opponent and leave. So this deck is, is still lacking. I would say this is a solid tier 3.5. But nonetheless, you know, glad to see Blink Moth in the meta. Uh, Blink Moth is still a very powerful card, and as we add more creature lands to the deck, it's going to be a pretty sweet format. Historic is slowly climbing up there to be just a super fun uh, game to, like format to play. Hopefully we get more in Historic Anthology 5, but for right now, like what we've got. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop, and as always, I do appreciate y'all supporting the content. Uh, thanks for leaving a like, a sub, and of course, always hanging out and engaging in the videos and with me on Twitter. So... As always, thank you everyone, and I'll see you at the next video, and just feel free to once again follow me on all my social media, uh, come out to my streams on twitch.tv slash theasianavenger, and show some love there, uh, Tuesday through uh, Saturday. Alright, I forgot my own stream schedule. Wow, professional content creator, by the way. Have a nice weekend, everybody, or a nice week, whenever you see this. Until then... Have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.